News, Mr. Talat Hafiz is a well-known Saudi TV anchor presenting economic programs on Saudi TV. Currently, Mr. Talat is presenting an economic TV program called Bouduh on Al Akhbariya radio and TV channel. He will be presenting a keynote speech titled Expo 2030, Why Riyadh? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Lord Edward, uh, Tom Basil, uh, let me begin by thanking my brother Basil and also the uh, London uh, Stock Exchange for hosting this important uh, forum. Um, I will be uh, talking about uh, Riyadh, of course, and why Riyadh the future, uh, and also um, holding and hosting the hopefully the Expo uh, 30 in 2030, hopefully. Um, this is what I'm going to really um, talk about, is basically um, what is Riyadh all about, and then uh, diving into um, our uh, leaders' uh, comments on the um, uh, Vision 2030, and what are the major programs of such uh, vision, and then I will talk about, you know, why Riyadh uh, is really uh, nominating itself for the Expo, upcoming Expo 2030. Um, this is the old Riyadh, by the way, and this is the new Riyadh. This is in the 30th when Riyadh was around 5,000 people. Now the population is over 32 million uh, in the latest uh, census we had. And I believe there is a lot of um, uh, factors, positive factors, for Riyadh to be uh, hopefully uh, nominated and host the, uh, the Expo 2030. First of all, it's a very uh, ancient uh, city. It's over uh, more than 300 years, uh, really, since the first uh, Saudi state in 1727, onward to the King Salman uh, of today, the King Sultan of the Holy Mosque. Uh, situated in Najd, which is an important region, of course, of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is the capital of Saudi Arabia, and that's also give it, uh, you know, uh, an importance. 50% uh, of the non-oil GDP is coming from the uh, from Riyadh. Basically, it's a business hub for uh, Saudi and non-Saudi companies. Also, it's inexpensive compared to the rest of the regions, 13 regions in the kingdom, as far as the cost of unemployment by 30%. Population is growing in Riyadh, 6.9, but if you take the Riyadh region, it's more than 8.6 million, so it's a growing city. We're going to 15, 20 million, hopefully, by 2030. So it's we're trying to put Riyadh among the um, major 10 cities in the world, like New York, Tokyo and elsewhere. So all of these things, I believe, collectively um, make the city uh, of Riyadh is a good candidate for the um, Expo. Uh, words of the leaders about our vision that's been launched uh, on the 25th of April uh, 2016. If you can see the custody of Tuhali Mosque, um, his comments, and also the Crown Prince um, um, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, the all encouraging the 2030 vision, because we believe, as been discussed in the first session, is not only economic uh, change, transformation, it's all over. It's a social, political, economic, financial, you name it. So uh, definitely we encourage it, um, you know, whether from the custodian, the Holy Mosque, or the Crown Prince. Um, this is basically why or what are the pillars, the main pillars of the vision. We are the uh, center of the Islamic world, 1.6, 1.7 billion uh, individuals that they turn their faces, as they say, to Mecca, which is the west part in Saudi Arabia, to pray five times. So we have, we are the center of uh, Islam. Plus, we are the um, investment, uh, you know, uh, house uh, investment power for investment, whether uh, being local, international, FDI, any kind of investment we welcome, of course, uh, as has been said in the first session. Despite the geopolitical issues that's going around, whether in the Middle East or elsewhere, 
um, we did, um, you know, challenge this your politicals, and we were growing. By the way, we the fastest growing country in the world. Uh, this is by the IMF, 8.7 uh, percent with a reasonable um, uh, inflation rate below 3 percent. And finally, we um, a logistic hub that connect three continents, which is Europe, Africa, and Asia. And as been said in the first session, it takes you four and a half hours to reach uh, Neum, uh, which is a very good uh, connectivity, if you will, to a major three continent. This is basically our vision. It has major three pillars, uh, vibrant uh, society, thriving economy, and ambitious nation. I cannot go in detail because of the time, but anyway, uh, vibrant society, uh, we want to make sure that our society is in good health, uh, energetic, uh, sport likewise, so to cope with this uh, beautiful vision. Thriving economy, we've been for decades um, fully dependent on oil since the uh, started the oil uh, business uh, in 1932 and uh, since our first trade uh, 19. 38, but we cannot stay, uh, you know, addict, if you will, to oil. So we had to diversify the economy, and this is what exactly we are doing uh, to to lean a little bit of the non-oil um, economy, if you will. Uh, ambitious nation, accountability, responsibility, efficiency, efficiency. That's again a major uh, part of the of the of our budget. This is basically a quick nutshell on the different programs. We have 11 major programs that used to be more than that, but we integrated some of the programs to end up with uh, 11 programs. And we had more than 474 initiatives. Uh, and I'm sure there is more to come on the way. So these are the major uh, vision uh, programs of the vision. The Royal Commission basically it's uh, you know um, headed and chaired by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed uh, bin Salman and basically they overlook and oversee uh, the structure of Riyadh and make it forward and make it eligible as I mentioned to hold by 2030-19, uh, sorry to 20 million uh, individuals and this is a, a giga I, don't, I won't call it mega but I call it giga project I'm going to go through it um, quickly. The King Abdulaziz Public Transport, Transportation Program, the Green Park, and you know the Riyadh Art, so on and so forth. This is exactly the King Abdulaziz Project Riyadh Transport, which connect the whole Riyadh city with both metro and um, buses. By the way, the metro is the lo longest in the world. The longest in the world, 167 kilo uh, meters long, around 100 miles, which uh, make it the world largest uh, metro connectivity between uh, the in Riyadh city. And luckily speaking, we have launched the first buses, uh, you know, transportation, the second phase. Hopefully the metro will work by year end or at latest Q1 of next year. Of course, that will help definitely to, to ease uh, the traffic congestion that is taking place nowadays in Riyadh. Simply because more than 90 percent, it's unfortunate, 90 percent or more in Riyadh we use our personal cars. While if you compare to Tokyo, for example, we're talking about 13 percent. If you talk about Britain, UK, correct me if I'm wrong, around 30 percent. So the metro and the buses will definitely ease that traffic jam. This is King Salman Park. The beauty of the King Salman Park it's larger than the Hyde Park. It's larger also than other parks. But this is not the issue. The issue, it's a multifunction park where you have a park, where you have nature, where you have art, where you have uh, uh, nature. So it's a multifunction. Hopefully that park again, first stage by 2019, by 2027, fully completed hopefully by uh, 2030. Also, we have the Sport Boulevard. As I just mentioned, uh, sport is becoming a very important issue for us to have a vibrant uh, society. Our target to move from 13% uh, sport-oriented, if you will, society to 40%. And I hope that we, we're going to meet that target and beyond it by 2030. This is the Wadi Hanifa. It's a well-located uh, wadi or valley, if you will that hold more than 700,000 metric ton of waters. 
again, uh, nature is part of it, culture is part of it, and also amusement uh, is part of it, and also, uh, uh, you know, um, to have a nice natural um, area in the Wadi Hanifa, located in a very prestigious uh, part of Riyadh. The Riyadh art, again, it's not only an art, it's an art, it's culture, it's nature. That's again one of the um, uh, prominent um, uh, areas um, and mega or giga projects really that we're gonna be having in Riyadh. Uh, and hopefully, again, before uh, 2030, we'll have it uh, live up and running. The new Murabba project is the largest downtown it will be on earth. Uh, again, it's a downtown area, but again, it's a mix of nature, mix of culture, uh, mix of sport, uh, mix of event management. So this downtown in Riyadh is going to be, again, the largest, hopefully, downtown area in the world. The Riyadh Airport project, uh, sorry, the Riyadh Air uh, project, again, that's an airline that's going to be launched. First flight's going to be on the 2025, hopefully the year after uh, uh, the coming year. And the difference between Riyadh Air and between the Saudi, yeah, which is Saudi is the national oldest uh, carrier over 75 years. The Saudi has three hubs. It goes Dammam, one of the hubs, and Riyadh and Jeddah. This is a different business model. Uh, it's going to go only from one hub, which is Riyadh. Now, it's going to um, go to more than 100 destinations um, worldwide, and it's going to be using, of course, the latest um, fleet possible. As a matter of fact, we have started ordering from Boeing uh, tens of uh, you know, new uh, airplanes, and hopefully, as I mentioned, the first flight will be 2025. And that's, of course, the Riyadh you know, Air will help to reach our vision target is to have more than 330 million people traveling back and forth from, uh, from Riyadh, uh, hopefully by 2030. The Daria project is it's, 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 it's a unique project. It's, it's, uh, again, it's, it's culture. It's, uh, it, it, it reflects the Saudi value. It reflects also the Saudi different state along the way since, as I mentioned, the first Saudi state is 1727 up to uh, today. It's, it's a wonderful uh, place. Also, it has the uh, Twig um, region in it or place, which is uh, part of the uh, UNESCO, uh, you know, being adjusted as UNESCO heritage, if you will. Uh, that's, that's a huge project. Uh, PIF is taking care of that project. And that's really, I go back to Mr. Ali and to the previous um, session, um, PIF is not competing, the Jet of Arab News is not competing, rather than complementing uh, the private sector. Why? Because PIF is taking greater risk, as a matter of fact, despite from the wealth it has being ranked the fifth, uh, you know, sovereign risk uh, worldwide. The King Salman International Airport is, is a huge uh, airport. It's going to be more than 75 uh, kilometers um, in you know, different uh, dimension. And it will um, accommodate uh, many, many flights uh, a day. As I mentioned, the intention is to go up to 330 million uh, passengers year round. So definitely, we need an iconic um, airport, such uh, King Salman Airport to hold that uh, huge traffic. al Gadiya Entertainment Project, it is an entertainment project. Again, it is more than an entertainment project. Um, uh, it will have entertainment. It's an amusement park. But again, it's a mix of uh, multifunctions, if you will. It has art in it. It has nature in it. Uh, and, this, uh, and also uh, educational uh, part. Again, that's going to be the Gadiya. It's going to be one of the major uh, amusement uh, park uh, in the world. King Abdullah Financial District, it's again, this is like a Wall Street uh, in, in New York. Um, it's a huge uh, financial center that accommodate, you know, banks, uh, financial institution, 
you name it. It's up and running. Um, we had an issue with it for a couple of years, but now hopefully, uh, um, you know, um, it's up and running. And most of the, the building, I think it's more than 60 towers in it, financial towers. It's fully occupied uh, by now. So that's, again, an addition. By the way, this is uh, this center will be connected to uh, and to, to the current airport, right? but again, it will be connected to King Salman uh, uh, Airport, hopefully. And then um, it is believed that one can access the center without uh, a visa because it's part of the airport. We're connected with a, with a metro, with a tunnel, so people can go back and forth. Unless you want to go outside the center, that's a different issue, you require a visa. But within the airport facility, uh, it's, it's, it's a visa list. So that's an addition uh, that will make, uh, you know, the King uh, Abdullah Financial District is an important financial district uh, city. Riyadh Expo, uh, luckily, we had uh, on the June 19th, uh, last month, um, where the Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman um, has attended, and we did showcase uh, the uh, Riyadh and why and we did show our plan uh, to the authority uh, of the International Expo, which is Bureau International the Exposition, um, one where, you know, 179 has been <coughs> delegates from uh, the office. We did showcase our um, plans and why uh, Riyadh uh, is holding uh, such uh, esteemed and important uh, expo. <clears throat> the final slide, I will just say, why Riyadh deserve the nomination, deserve, uh, you know, to be hosting such uh, important event. As you all know, Korea is on the line, uh, Rome on the line, and also uh, Ukraine on the line. Um, we wish the best to all, but again, we believe the kingdom um, um, has a big chance, that's my humble opinion. One is concede with the coincides with the vision 2030, so that's a very good chance we can show the people and the world what has happened during the 15 years when we started our, our, our vision uh, 2030. It's an excellent opportunity also to uh, highlight and, and, and showcase the, what's happening in Riyadh. As you know, uh, Lord Edward was saying uh, when he went back to Riyadh a long time ago, and you, when you go repeatedly, you see a big uh, change, and also Tom has, you know, lightly mentioned that. Um, also, it's the largest gathering uh, that we believe. Why? Because we expect more than 40 million to show in that position. But more than 1 billion people will watch it virtually, and this is the first time the metaverse technology will be used in Riyadh to accommodate, you know, present and through virtual uh, the metaverse. So, in, in, in a nutshell, I, I believe um, Riyadh, the kingdom itself, is going through a major transformation, not only economically, as I mentioned, but socially, political, uh, you, you name it, even uh, on the art side, on the sport side. Um, and I believe, uh, hopefully, that um, we'll have the Expo uh, 2030, and I'm, you're all invited, of course, and it's a great pleasure to see you. And uh, thank you, Basil. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and if any questions, uh, I welcome that, please. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, very good, thank you.